question we are going to cover something around uh, MACD process of industry cloud um, more of communication cloud how do we do any kind of asset to quote or asset to order process so first of all we will navigate or we will go through that standard process of comms cloud then we will see how can we call asset to quote process using apex uh, and how what has been provided by this salesforce in terms of the asset to quote or asset to order process in in terms of api so let's go to our org what happens actually we have one account we are where we are having its service assets so we are on standard uh, asset viewer of the comms cloud so we can select something from here which we wanted to convert to quote or to order so we are going for order process uh, we are not going for order process we are going to call code process so we'll click on the code this will invoke one of the omni script and omni script can be configurable we can change this omni script as per our requirement and we'll provide this price list we'll click on save and continue so meanwhile time this is converting from asset to code process this is actually being called here this asset viewer code flow is called it creates or update codes during this process we this is esm create code you can have cpq create code that depends on your requirement and then it's called last change to code process what it does it call your change to code omni script where in this step it calls out of the box omni change to code wrapper and it's provide this these are the inputs and it's create all the assets to the code line item so if you go here again this is my already created code here you can see this code is being created where all the assets are converted to a relevant code line item with the action of existing so we can see in the normal code this is the one where we can see these all the code line items are coming from your asset now if we will use only omni script then it's easier for us but if you want to to use something as in a different process if we have customization in our environment and we wanted to use this uh, uh, change to code process and we wanted to call this remote class then there is a no documentation has been provided by salesforce we know that uh, uh, this apex remote service use cpq app handler for asset to order process so the create card process for asset to order is being provided by the uh, common APIs of communication media or energy um, uh, cloud but for doing something for asset to code process there is nothing so what we have found out that this is the way we can do asset to code process so you will have your list of asset ids you will have the method of change to code you can provide the account id you can provide the list of asset ids here and you can provide this list of type parameter will be leave it as a blank then you can provide the context type as an account and this whole code will work for you so let's see how this is going to work so we will take again the account we'll take the account id as a parameter will take something as a asset so let's say i'm taking this as an asset value and we will run this code okay so code has been successfully executed okay now if we will go here in this code and if we'll refresh it this is the newly created code and if you see the all the line items are converted from the asset so this is the easier way if you have some custom implementation and if you know that how to create a asset to order process then this is the uh, asset to order process which is getting called uh, by the create uh, cart api and if you don't know how to call this thing then you can take this remote class this method these are the input how to call this thing that's a code you can use it to calling something as an 
change the code process.